Hi, I'm Josh Young with Bison Interests, and this is an oil inventories and market update as of March 2023. Quick disclaimer that's worth reviewing. So real quick on me, I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Bison. We focus on publicly traded oil and gas equities, and I was also chairman of the board of Ironbridge Resources, a publicly traded oil and gas company that we sold at a large premium to a private equity backed company that was backed by Warburg Pincus and CPPIB. So real quick on Bison, um, we've done quite well, and this is not an offering, but it is maybe helpful to establish credibility as we share some of our views on the oil market and oil and gas equities. Um, as you can see, despite extreme volatility since we launched in 2015, Bison has materially outperformed versus the investable index XOP. And especially over the last three years, there's been really significant outperformance. So oil prices have fallen a lot recently, about 45% over the last eight to nine months. And there have been a number of narratives that have attempted to explain why. And one of the interesting things, I think, is to take this and look at the fundamentals and see what's actually going on. So when we look at the fundamentals, ultimately, oil prices over the medium term are driven by oil inventories globally. And oil inventories globally appear to have actually peaked and to be inflecting down per this recent research from S&P Global from their Platts division. So as you can see, when you zoom in, there's actually been a significant negative move in global oil inventories, and those inventories are depleting rapidly, and there's actually been some acceleration of that depletion recently. I understand this is very different from what we're seeing in the news, but there are various factors that move oil prices in the short run, like bank runs and like negative China headlines that are not necessarily indicative of the medium term and longer term direction of the industry or of oil prices. So one thing to keep in mind in considering all of this is that uh, the oil market is widely expected to actually be undersupplied in the second half of 2023. One of the interesting things about these S&P global charts and the data that they're providing to back this up is that we may actually be significantly undersupplied for oil today well ahead of the consensus and at a time when consensus appears to be indicating significant or a view of significant oil inventory builds. And again, that's really important because if prices are falling, but oil is coming out of inventories and being used, then that means that there's uh, significantly higher demand versus supply and that prices should rise substantially, potentially soon. From an equity perspective, which is what we focus on, um, it's pretty interesting in terms of how cheap oil and gas public equities are, even large cap public equities, which have done quite well over the last number of years, relatively speaking, still see some upside if oil prices were to rise to $80 a barrel WTI. Small caps show substantially more upside and show some upside potential even to $70 oil. And some of the undervalued securities that we're identifying have multiples of that potential upside. And again, if you recall that performance chart, it is possible we have found to outperform in niches through identifying particularly undervalued securities. That being said, uh, the past may not repeat itself. Past results may not be indicative. So with that, thank you very much for your time. We hope this was helpful, and we're happy to answer any questions if you have any. Thanks.